how wicked would you be to write these letters? And how wicked is it to be in that time to, that if you cuss, you go to jail? Actually, is that today? So this is based in UK. And people do go to jail for memes now. Hmm. <laughs> Chase Lee Hockey here at the Blue Futon reviewing Wicked Little Letters, or you could call this movie Suppressing the Free Speech. Anyway, what's this about? Pretty simple purpose. So this is actually based off a true story of like a town in a little little Hamptonville, a little Hempville. I don't know. It's someplace in the UK. Like I said, you watch this movie and you go, oh my god, they're going to arrest people for saying fuck and like piss and then, you know, butthole and stuff like that. But you're thinking, oh, they're doing it today in Ireland and... UK as well, where it's like, oh, we're going to send those coppas to your apartment for having bad memes or saying bad stuff to the oppressed community, so we're going to arrest you. It's like, really, fam? Anyway, so shocking. It's based off a true story, but the more I think about it, it is real life. Anyway, this is a simple premise. You have these two neighbors. One of them's Irish. Yes, Irish. I do not want to screw this up because I know for a fact if you say someone is Irish from UK, that that's some bad news bears. Yeah. Irish, and she basically said, cuss her, she doesn't care, she has sex, blah, 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 but you have a very conservative Christian family right next door, but what do you know, they're getting 19 letters in the mail, and they all have a lot of cuss words, and they're just like, oh, how dare you cuss at me, and they blame the Irish lady because she cusses a lot, but was it actually her who is writing these letters to the community, so do I like this film? All right, so this is a weird one. Not because it is a movie that it was a Monday movie mystery mayhem, but I'm shocked that this many people stayed in the movie theater because usually when you have other movies like Land of Bad, you have these horror movies, you have movies that people just refuse to stay for, like Arthur the King, One Life, but this one, everyone stayed. And I was pretty shocked because this is what I call an old person movie. You're thinking, what, what does that even mean? This appeases the older crowd. Through in and throughout. People were clapping. People were laughing in this movie. Even people my age and younger, they stayed with it. And they're like, oh, that's a pretty fun movie. Because it's a cute movie through in and throughout of, you know, just these ladies in this England town trying to solve this mystery of who is writing the whole wicked letters. And, of course, that's J.C. Buckley in it. This has Olivia Coleman in it. Of course, they're also together in The Good Daughter, which I hated The Good Daughter. But this one is a lot more fun. Yes. Did I understand all the accents? Nay, Sayers. Nay, I did not. Because, you know, I just don't, didn't understand it. Anyway, because you were thinking, oh, what cuss word was that? Did they say cunt? Or was it a different word? Did they say piss? Did they say bunghole? Did they say fuck? And you're like, what kind of things? And some people might be offended by the language. And that's okay. Actually, is it okay? Because who invented cuss words? I mean, you can talk to Nicolas Cage. He will tell you that. But as a whole, general, like, who literally said fuck is like the end all be all word or bitch or ass or titties is like really those are the words that's like someone made it up and it's like oh yeah we're gonna make those the cuss words and you're just like really really but anyway when we talk about this movie it's very simplistic it's very poppy it's very intriguing to figure out what was going on i could say one of the big negatives though is you know who it is free like 40 minutes into the movie, you're like, okay, so where's the suspense? And the suspense is something at the end, but you don't get closure. And you're like, I need that closure for one of the characters for her past. And you don't get it. So you're like, okay, that's fine. But this movie overall, you're just kind of shocked that they made a movie about this. They literally made a movie about a girl writing 19 letters framing someone, and then writing this whole town of, like, just despicable, horse dick, ass fucking cut letters. And you're just like, okay. But there is another underlining message to this of how women were treated back in the day of just men being fucking dicks. It's like, damn, son, like, that's your daughter. Why would you? That's just disgusting behavior, not sexually. No, 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 no. I'm not going that route. But just, like, the behavior, just, like, what what happened to just having respect for human beings? Like, come on now, really? And it does talk about that of, you know, 
is this justified? Because there are little elements where you're thinking, is this person doing it because of what has happened to her past for the past 40, 50 years? And it makes you think like, huh, is it justified? No, but it's like a serial thing where someone just, they have so much pleasure because they've been suppressed. And once they do something, they're like, oh my God, I love it. And that could be the same thing with sex, with someone in a marriage where, you know, the husband was like very controlled, like we're only doing a missionary position. And, you know, when they got a divorce, the woman now is like, you know, 50 shades of gray. And you're like, what the fuck are you talking about, Chase? I'm sorry, you dated a person and it was like that. And after the fifth date, I had to bounce because they're like, I like Peggy. And I'm like, no, 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 this is not Deadpool. This is not Deadpool at all. So anyway, Wicked Little Letters is a cute movie. It's fun. It's unique. I mean, would I watch it again? Probably not. But it's one of those movies where you could put in the background, have a couple chuckles here and there. But I'll say one thing. When this audience score does come out and the older people do vote for this movie, it's going to be a riot for them. So Wicked Little Letters will receive a 3 out of 5 of futons, which equals at 60%. So see the Critics News scores gave this one. So if critics say 64% with 47 of them, critic consensus, thanks largely to a strong cast that leans into the story's humorous side, Wicked Little Letters is a diverting comedy even if the mystery at its core isn't particularly clever. I have to agree with that, but like I said, if you're just going with an open mind and a light heart, you should be fine. 60, 64, Chase Leak here with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. But no other thing is Topia. You blew up Tony. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. And I'm going to watch this tape tomorrow, week from now, month from now, year from now, every single freaking one of you. Enjoy life. Have fun. Peace and love to every single freaking one of you.